or it was seven o'clock, uh, January 23rd, uh, Tuxedo Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, we'll uh, call the meeting to order, though they are not present. Uh, well, we'll start by welcoming Sharon back on the board for yeah. another five years. Um, also at last night's meeting, um, Maria May, former town councilwoman, <clears throat> has been appointed as the um, a regular member of the zoning board and Peter Dolan, former, actually not only town supervisor, but former chair and member of the zoning board has been uh, approved as the alternate. So the next meeting we have, we'll have Bojas. Um, have uh, approval of the meeting minutes from November 28th. I'll make a motion to accept. May I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So. Just to uh, remind everyone, last meeting we went through the public hearings, the comments, the questions, uh, talked to the applicants, reviewed all the documents, <clears throat> went through the five-part test, and basically gave a um, sort of condition um, uh, response to the applicants as to what we thought we were going to vote. We could not make a formal decision because for um, one of them, well, for both of them, we needed the 239 review by the county. And then for the one in East Village, we needed a couple extra measurements. Um, so I guess I'll start with the uh, Kristen Ward, Sixwood Road. Um, we have received the uh, 239 review from the county. Uh, basically, the county has recommended a local determination, so it's um, uh, basically everything we've talked about um, should settle this as it's our decision. I will just read for the record an advisory comment that the county made, and that is that the proposed project is in an area known to contain habitat suitable for a number of endangered or threatened species, including the northern long-eared bat and the timber rattlesnake. County advises the applicant to ensure that best practices are followed during construction in order to minimize any accidental taking of these species. Best practices are likely to include times for tree harvesting and placing bat houses along the site, among other measures. Uh, none of that is recommended. It was, or none of that is um, obligatory. It's just a recommendation. Uh, and as I said, the determination will be a local determination. Um, with that, I believe we have the architect on the, uh, on the Zoom session here. Um, any final comments you want to make? Uh, no, I appreciate the board's consideration of the project. And as we discussed at the last meeting, uh, we you know, definitely in agreement with the conditions of the draft resolution. All right. Um, so with that, what I'd like to do is uh, basically I'd like to make a motion to approve the variances as outlined in our attorney's memo that is dated, I think January 5th, if I recall, let me pull it up quick. Was it, yeah, I believe uh, dated January 5th and provided to this board previously in packets by uh, Deborah. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes, all variances are approved. And I wanna thank the board too for uh recognizing the other existing nonconformities that you took this time to codify and legalize. So appreciate that yeah. very much. Thank yeah, you very much. So their lot is complete now, so that's good. No, I appreciate the diligence. Uh, yeah. It was great working with you. Look forward to the next project. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Our uh, next agenda item is Bobby and Tori Haas, 167 East Village. Just as a reminder, this is the uh, shed that was pre-existing for some time. They bought the property. Building inspector uh, uh, suggested or encouraged or recommended or required them to come to get the variance um, formalized. They, too, being in East Village, have a number of ex existing nonconformities. And obviously, for the record, we want to bring all those nonconformities mm -hmm. a lot into full compliance. Uh, 239 review has been received by the county. Um, it's a local determination. Uh, basically, no comments of substance provided by the county. Therefore, uh, with that said, what I'd like to do is to make a motion to accept, uh, to approve the variances, um, 
for 167 East Village Road, um, as outlined in the memo provided by our attorney on January 5th to all members of this board by Deborah. Uh, may I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, that, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I make a motion to adjourn. Second? Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Record time.